Hello and good evening. It is 6.37 and uh, I did a little nighttime shower thing and I've got, I, I just realized that I like look like I'm five years old so we're just gonna go with it. Like I'm basically a toddler today. I am wearing my like rainbow pride shirt I got from Target and um, I put braids in my hair. But here's the thing. So you know how I said the other day I was like, I am gonna French braid my hair. I struggled for like a good 15-20 minutes in the bathroom trying to figure out how to French braid because I can French braid like other people's hair, but I can't French braid my own hair. Do you guys have that problem? So anyways, it's not really a good braid, but I just kind of like braided it and then put my little hair ties in and then hopefully, I mean it's still wet, like it's still, well, it's not super wet, it's just like damp. And uh, I'm gonna sleep in them, <laughs> and then hopefully tomorrow I'll have like luxurious wavy hair. That's that's the goal. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably gonna look like crap, but I don't care. So because Emily looks like a toddler today, so. <laughs> but anyway, today was actually really busy at work. Got a lot of stuff done, and um, yeah, so got a lot of good stuff done. After work, I worked on some of my washi sample projects. So that's moving right along. I'm gonna show you guys. So before, oops, before it was just this side, and this is over the past, this is like Sunday, and a couple of these I did today, not very many, but majority of I, I did on Sunday. So, anywho, that's that. So I'm getting stuff done. I'm actually like, also, like when I'm going through my little box, I'm also downsizing a bunch of them, so I'm putting them into like a little de-stash for my Minnesota planner people, so I think, one of the organizers said that we're gonna have some sort of meetup in July, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but we shall see. I don't have a date, I don't have a time, I don't know when, and uh, that's all right, that's all right. But I'll bring it all then. Um, what we do, well not we, I don't do anything with it, I just bring stuff that I just am not using any longer or found or things that were sent in PR that just don't really have a use for me um, and don't have really a use for anyone like super close to me either. I try to gift stuff as much as possible, but um, bring it there and then if no one takes it, um, one of the gals actually works for a local school district and then she takes those into I think like I think she takes them into like the art department um, because there's like washi and stickers and things like that and so I don't know exactly what they do with them um, and I've also heard that they've donated them before to like senior centers and stuff too um, you know a lot of senior centers like to work on projects with their hands and stuff like that especially if you know people have like arthritis or they just want to like keep their hands moving and stuff um, so yeah but I don't know. She takes them and they go somewhere that's useful for them. So that's that's awesome. But yeah, that is uh, what's happening here at the FTE house. Not much else uh, going on. Uh, I feel like I was texting with Ryan earlier because um, we were just catching up on some other things. And he was talking about, he's like, I want to come and eat Taco Bell with you and eat our feelings. I was like, oh, I'm having that kind of a Monday too at work. <laughs> so yeah, he was having a a Monday and I was having a Monday at work so you know just it happens you guys it happens so now I'm really jonesing for Taco Bell so I don't know if I should go I'm kind of in the mood for it and I kind of hmm, I should call my dad my dad's always down for the bell so let me call him and see if he wants to go or if he wants me to pick up anything so let's do that Hold on, we'll call him on, we'll call him, we'll talk to him, we'll see, we'll see what he says. It's actually quite late, so he might have already eaten because he gets hangry. Let's see what he says. Let's see if he picks up, Let's see if I'm his favorite. Yes, Emily. Yes, father. Hey, have you, have you eaten yet? Yeah, I just finished. Oh, all right then. We had, we had leftovers, we still got more. Oh, no thanks. No thanks. Okay. All right. It's a hot dish. Nope, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> You're running kinda late on dinner, aren't you? Well, yeah, I guess, I don't know. The hours kinda just meld together over here, so. All right. Well, you gotta, you gotta plan it early for me. Well, I know, I know. Well, sometimes you have like lunch late, so I figured I would call you and ask you, cause you know, you're always down for whatever. 
Yeah, yeah. Are you going to try tomorrow? Keep well, <laughs> nah. Nah. I'll pass. All right. Cool. All right. Okay. Well, that's all I called bye. about. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Well, you heard it here first. He has leftovers. He was making some sort of like weird hot dish. If you don't know what hot dish is, you guys should Google it. Um, it's basically like everything all congealed together. It's very, it's like actually really good, but depends, like there's many different versions of hot dish. So it usually starts with like ground hamburger and then other things are added. So there's sometimes like there's a tomato base, sometimes it's like cream of mushroom base. You just never know. And then there's like other things inside of it. Anyway, my dad sent me a picture of it yesterday and I was like, eh, I'm gonna pass. Plus I had already eaten, so I don't know. And yes, yesterday was Father's Day, but my gift to him was leaving him alone. Because <laughs> we have that kind of relationship, you know what I'm saying? But man, should I go to Taco Bell or not? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about it. Actually, mm, oh, I don't know. It sounds so good, but it's so far away. <laughs> It's like a 20 minute drive there and then clearly like a 25 minute drive back. Or I could just go to like someplace local that's like five minutes away, which would be better, maybe. I don't know, I kind of want to eat my feelings today. Mm -hmm. The toddler wants to eat her feelings. Oh, maybe I can go get a happy meal. A meal that's happy dish. I don't know. Doyle, what do you think? Doyle's over here in the corner. Oh, there he is. Hey, there's my buddy. What are you doing, little guy? Just sitting in the corner, just chilling, doing nothing. Yeah? My chair squeaks, by the way. I need to like get some WD-40 for it or whatever, but I just have not done that yet, so weird. It's so weird to see myself like on the viewfinder with these things. I keep thinking they're like not mine. <laughs> And my face is all red from my shower. I did a little face shave. Do you guys shave your face? Because I do. And it's amazing. I highly recommend. I use these razors. They're called Twinkle? Twinkle razors? I don't know. I'll leave a Amazon link for you guys below. Um, I love them and they're awesome. Some people shave their face like once a week. Ah, I try to do it like twice a month. So like every other week. But... Really, I should do it like once a month for sure. It makes your moisturizers go on really nicely. I have super sensitive skin, so it does this. So I usually do it at night. Um, sometimes I do it before a shower, sometimes not. It just kind of depends. But um, your hair doesn't grow back any thicker or anything like that. Um, but it's kind of amazing, like all of the, I think, I believe it's called vellus hair. So it's all of the like little like baby hairs that you have. Um, but you just got to be like, mindful of like your eyebrows and things like that and like you know what you do over here and all that good stuff so yeah but shaving my face really changed the game with like the moisturizers and serums and like all that good stuff for your face so anyway okay i think mm, i want to with my feelings i think i'm gonna go to mcdonald's because it's pretty close and i like it and it also sounds really gross so that sounds really good to me <laughs> oh my gosh and that was really good for dinner for lunch today i had leftovers so i just had some rice it was very like uneventful doyle also got some rice for lunch too so he was extremely happy oh why am i still like in my work computer screen hold on let me, let me get out of this okay let's get rid of that okay we're done with that. I mean, I already logged out, but I'm like, why is that still up? So I think I am going to run over to Mickey D's um, and talk to Ron, get myself some Donald, and I'll see you guys when I get back. I'm not gonna take the vlog with me because it's just gonna be me in a drive-thru and then I'm coming right back, so very uneventful. But Toddler Emily is going out into the real world. Yeah, that would be actually really funny if I went to go like buy booze like this. Do you think they'd ID me? I feel like they would. I feel like I'd get ID'd for a lottery ticket right now with the situation going on. Yeah. And especially with this like beautiful like 
acne. Well, it's not acne, it's just like. Now, these are totally flat. I've talked about this in vlogs before. These are totally flat now, and um, they will stay that dark for a long time. Welcome to my skin. <sighs> okay, but that's gonna be it. I'm gonna see you guys when I have McDonald's. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet, but I'm probably gonna get two cheeseburgers with no onions and extra pickles. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Right. Bye. I am back. I'm ready to eat my feelings, you guys. I got some McDonald's. I got the, my tried and true, the two cheeseburger meal, no onions, extra, extra, extra pickle on both burgers. And you know when you ask for that many extras, they still only put two fucking pickles on there. <laughs> Drives me nuts. And then, I also get, one package of barbecue sauce because I like to dip my fries in barbecue sauce. Um, I would have gotten a small chocolate shake with no whipped cream. However, my local place did not have any ice cream products. They're out of ice cream products at my place. So, um, yeah. Oh well, that's all right. So, anyways, I'm gonna eat my feelings and have some dinners and uh, go from there. But let's, I'm gonna open up one of these burgers and I'm gonna show you what extra pickle looks like. Oh my God. It's like a freaking murder scene up in here. It's like ketchup all over the damn place. Oh, here. Here's what extra, 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 extra pickle means. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I don't say extra, extra, extra pickle, I usually don't even get any. Anyways, but yeah, look at it. It's like a freaking murder scene up in here. Anyway, all right. I am messy now, and I am going to see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Well, hey, I completed another washi card while I've been sitting up here. I'll show you. This one's like a musical card, so I'm kind of doing them in themes. It kind of is working for me. So the top two, like this is like, you know, actual like music you can read. The other one's like musical notes and then piano keys. So fun fact, I used to play piano as a child. I actually did like a piano competition and won. <laughs> I also got to play at, I can't remember where, Orpheum? I don't know, some like prestigious place. I, I don't know. Mom, if you're in the comments, put down where I played. I can't remember. But yeah, I had to go through like this whole competition thing and it was, I enjoyed it. I didn't know what I was doing, but clearly my piano teacher knew what she was doing because she taught me well. Um, so yeah, I played the flute for a very, very short time, like a year or two. Hated it, by the way. And then I went to clarinet and I liked that. I like that. I could probably still play the clarinet today. I can read music, but man, um, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to jump back to the piano because I'm super rusty, but... Um, I know how to read it at least, but very slowly, very slowly. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, talk to my brother actually for like an hour. And I currently have up Men's Warehouse because boy needs to get himself a suit for a wedding. Not his wedding, not his wedding, okay? So we're gonna go in a couple of weeks and we're gonna go to Men's Warehouse because that's where the groom is getting his suit. Um, they're like gonna just buy, like he's he's able just to buy whatever. So um, he's got the details of what the groom got and he doesn't even need to match. They're just like, just go buy a suit or rent one, whatever you wanna do. It's probably more cost effective just to buy one because he doesn't have one. So um, we're gonna go pick that out together. So. He wanted my help because I worked in men's tuxedos for a very long time. I think like over 10 years. It was a long time, you guys. Like I started working with men's tuxedos and I was like, what, 16 or 17? Um, and I like did weddings. Yeah. I don't know, you guys are learning a lot about me today. Anywho, but he's like, yeah, um, can you measure me? I'm like, sure, thinking like, aren't you in Iowa? But I'm like, sometimes he's just randomly in Minnesota and I don't know about it. And then he's like, yeah, I just want my measurements. I'm like, it doesn't like work that way. Um, like I can tell you like what you probably wear just by like knowing 
your body but I don't want you to buy that because I don't know how these suits fit because some suits are a little bit different and suits are different than tuxes a little bit and it's just like a whole thing I'm like we'll go together they'll measure you they'll fit you and we'll see what you like and then we'll just pick something out how's that so that's the plan that's the plan but that's gonna be in July so the vlog will be over by July but maybe I'll take a picture or something for you guys because I know you guys like it when favorite brother shows up sometimes, but I won't see him until um, that July 4th weekend. So anyway, that's what's going on here. But I think I'm going to close out the vlog. Uh, ate all my dinner. Doyle got a bonus french fry, which he gets very, very excited about. And he's now down there just digesting away, digesting that little tiny little french fry in his little baby body but yeah i think i'm gonna sit up here for a little bit it is nine o'clock i think i'm gonna sit up here and do a little bit more of my little wrapping project and um by the way i'm like really glad that i got a hundred of these because this is how many i have left like i don't have that many left because i'm kind of going in category like i'm not i'm not going like fitting as many as possible on the card i'm just going like okay Here's a category, we're gonna do that. That's kind of, I don't know how it's going over here. <laughs> Anywho, um, but yeah, so that's what's going on over here. I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm just gonna like put things away because it's time to put things away today. Yeah. So I hope you guys had a great day. I will show you whatever this does to my hair for tomorrow. It's still wet. I can tell you it's probably still going to be a little tiny damp tomorrow morning. So I might just leave them in like during the day tomorrow as well. And just like, you know, don't get them wet in the shower. So, um, my hair stays wet for a really long time, but we'll see. We'll see if it, it does anything good. I don't know. Maybe it'll just look stupid. <laughs> Who knows? You guys will be the judge tomorrow. Um, you'll see me with different hair. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Give me a comment. Also, turn on the bell notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a video. Because I don't really have a schedule at the moment. Things just go up when they do. So, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you tomorrow for another Vliggity Vlog. See you then. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me.